Hey, hey, uh, welcome to this week's edition of Ask Me Anything. Okay, so this is our opportunity to have a conversation at minimum once a week to answer your questions. These are 100 all about you. So today we're gonna do something a little different. We usually do Ask Me Anything. We're gonna call this Flash Fire Instagram Stories Q&A. So let's bring everybody up to speed. Last week, I came on Facebook Live and then I also added the video to YouTube so that we can continue the conversation. And I did, um, I had a conversation on how to effectively use Instagram stories to grow your business with a plan and strategy. And what I didn't expect was that there was a ton of questions that were happening live and I couldn't get to them all. So this is your follow-up to some of the most frequently asked questions. I don't wanna leave you hanging. So hello and welcome. Speaking of hanging, I want to connect with you. Like, I really, I get nervous doing these, but I do them because I'm here in a place of service. So can you do me a big homie hookup? Can you let me know where you're from? Leave a comment. I would love to know where you're from, what you do, because that way I can make sure that these future editions of Ask Me Anything and Flash Fire Sessions are all about one person, all about you. Okay, so uh, let's dive in. And uh, let's get into the first flash fire question. Megan asked, I get the same people engaging, not getting new eyeballs to my story. So if you are like Megan and you're like, listen, the same people be watching my story. The objective would be to remind people that your account exists. So how do you do this? Basics. You have to remind people that your account exists by going and being engaging on other people's accounts. It was really crazy. This morning, I went to my Instagram follower list because I couldn't remember this one account that I followed. And as I was scrolling through these accounts, I was like, oh snap, I forgot I follow this account. I'm not seeing any of their content. I have a tendency just to see the same people's content, which all of a sudden made me reminded me I need to go to their accounts and I need to like their photos and I need to leave comments so that I'm indicating to the Instagram algorithm that I want to see more content. So how does this go back to Amanda's question? This goes back to thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Y'all, my husband just made me lunch. Y'all, ladies and gentlemen, find yourself a partner who can make you a green smoothie. And I made him coffee this morning. It's not all unidirectional, okay? We make each other drinks. And at 5 p.m., we have drinks. There's drinks, and then there's drinks. I prefer drinks, but you want to know what? Just trying to do my, I'm just trying to live my real life. Okay. Mmm. Pale and spinach. There you go. Listen, I don't want to drink green smoothies. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I want is pizza. What I want is tacos. What I want is a grilled cheese sandwich with a side of tomato soup. Put on some Parmesan on that soup. That's what I want to eat. But you want to know what I eat? I want to live a good life. I want to get my brain. I want to get my body aligned. So I eat my veggies. Sounds like your mom. Okay, we got your mom. Okay, so we got a little off topic. Megan, same people. I said, Megan, you got to go back and you have to remind people that you exist. How do you do this? You go to their accounts and you leave comments. And they're like, oh, hey, I forgot that about this Megan girl. Whose comments should you be leaving comments on? Well, I always suggest start with your followers because they are not cold audiences. They already follow you. Go and leave a comment. Go and like a photo. And more than anything, which is what we said last week, is to resist the urge to make it complicated. Just start the conversation. I don't need you to be Socrates. I don't need you to be Plato. I don't need you to be Abraham Lincoln with your comments. Just go and look at their profile and say something nice. That's it. Don't make it complicated. Say something nice. Now, when it comes back to how do we get people, like how do we get our stories seen by more people? Well, if Instagram and the algorithm looks at your content and deems it engaging, it will show it to more people. Well, how then does Instagram deem it engaging? Well, if you have an Instagram story and people watch story after story, or maybe they share it with a friend, or maybe they send you a DM, all indications to the algorithm that your story matters. Now, I wanna show you too that you can drive your engagement by using Instagram engagement tools. That's what you're gonna see at the bottom. Those are the engagement tools. The poll, the questions, the countdown, the slider, the quiz, and the chat. What do these tools do? 
They give you an opportunity to have people take an action on behalf of your account. What kind of day are you having? Use the slider. Um, what are the three topics? What if, if I use the if I use the quiz feature, I would say, what is my favorite drink? I'd put a green smoothie, I'd put Coca-Cola, and I would put Kool-Aid. If you know me, you know my favorite drink is gonna be a green smoothie. Because I don't drink Coke, I don't drink Kool-Aid. You know, I know I really don't. I think it's poison. Poison. P -p 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 poison. Um, yeah, I do. And I know people, I'm, I'm going to get haters. I know if you're from Atlanta and you love your Diet Coke, I know. I just don't, I just don't drink it. Why am I getting off track? Let's go back to engagement. We want to drive engagement. So here's a couple samples of driving engagement. What you're looking at is a story. It's time for a midday check-in. Are you on track? Yes or no? Time to press on, friends. That is a simple question. Yes or no? So what I just showed you um, as the owner and founder of Social Curator, we provide Instagram story templates that drive engagement. So you can download that and you can customize it for your business or you can download that and just apply like your own text and then you have a solution to drive your engagement. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to make people take an action on behalf of your account to indicate to the Instagram algorithm that is that it is in fact engaging. So here are samples of what we do. Here, can you guess my favorite drink? Oh, then you add your options and on the next slide, what are you doing? Asking a question to drive engagement. So in order for you to get more eyes on your content, you have to prove to the algorithm that it is in fact engaging. So what do you do? You start conversations and when they come back and look at your stories, you give them a way to engage. Splash fire question number two. Charmy says, I've noticed that on my Instagram stories, a few accounts are repeatedly watching, but they aren't following me. So how do they have, cons how are they consistently watching my stories? I wanna be very clear and draw a distinction. I'm gonna answer Charmy's question. I'm gonna to go to another question and draw the distinction. Charmy is saying, why are these people consistently watching my stories and not following me? Charmy, they're creepers. That's just truly, they don't wanna follow you, but they wanna see what you're doing. That's like your nosy neighbor. You know what I'm saying? And so you could sit there and be like, instead of being a creepy neighbor, why don't you just come on, the, like come knock on my door and say hi, but they're not. So Charmy, you have two options. Number one is the hood option. If you're from the hood, like I am, and you see somebody keep on like walking by, staring at your house, you walk out and you say, hi, how can I help you? Or you have the other option and to just stay behind your window and kind of watch them. What are they doing, Geraldine? Why are they looking in our house? What I would do, if, especially because I got my big earrings on today, I would walk out and say, hey, how you doing? So for people who are watching your stories and not following your account, I would go to their account and I would like a few of the photos and I would leave a comment. Why? I want them to know, hey, boo-boo, I see you. Come over, say hi, I don't bite. Why? What we want to continue doing is we want to speak to our dream customers. So if people be creeping on you, there's clearly something that you like, that something that they like that you're doing. So speak to them and turn them into a customer. Can I get an amen? Anybody like me who's going to walk out of the front line, just let me know. Yes, give me a thumbs up. Give me a, like a prayer hands. Give me the yes hands. Like, are you the person who would walk out and say, hey, how you doing? Actually, I don't even know why I'm even saying this. There was a guy who consistently, he would walk. I wake up really early in the morning and I like to work at my dining room table and my dining room table has a view right out. And there was this guy who would walk his dog and his dog would poo in front of our house. Like, not on the grass, but on the, the, the street in front of our house, but like every single day. And he didn't bring a bag and pick it up. Rude. So one day I told JD, my husband, I was like, I'm going to tell him something that I think is really rude, that his dog poops in front of my house every single day and he doesn't pick it up. And JD's like, you're not going to say anything. You're just getting hot and bothered. Lo and behold, we wake up really early. We drive back home and we see the dog pulling in front of our house. I got out of the car. I was like, excuse me. Hi, how you doing? You're my neighbor, right? 
I would so appreciate, I listen, I've been there. I know what it's like not to have a poo bag for your dog. So I'm going to run in my house and I'm going to give you a bag so you could pick this up. Okay. Thank you. Last time that dog pooed in front of my house. Okay. I just come out and I say what I mean. I was nice, but don't have your dog poo in front of my house and don't pick it up. My dog poos in front of other people's houses but I pick it up. Okay, Anisha says, there are a lot of factors, but I would like to know what time of day when the most watched story was posted. Okay, so as far as analytics go, analytics on Instagram for posts, not stories, are far more robust. Why? Because Instagram posts stay on your feed in perpetuity. They don't go anywhere. Instagram stories disappear after 24 hours. So people are like, when are the people going to watch them? Like, when is, what time should I be posting? Well, the time you should be posting is you go to your Instagram analytics and your analytics, it's actually the three bars on Instagram. If you click in the upper right hand corner, it's gonna get you a menu. You can click on that button that says insights. You click on the insights and those are your analytics. It will tell you the, when the most amount of your followers are online. So if I were you, I would be posting your stories during that time when the most of people are online and then you hope that within 24 hours they are able to see them. But there isn't like a hard and fast, oh, 8.17 is when you should be posting. It's not that clear quite yet for stories because they disappear. Sabrina says, uh, thanks for answering my question. I don't use geotags or hashtags. I keep having this happen in the same story. And the last one has so many. Hardly any of them actually follow me. It's just so weird. I'm confused how they only see the last one in my story. Right now, I had I just had 29 that saw the first few and the last had 82 and they are always the same story. So if you are like Sabrina, now this is different than Charmy. Charmy said that the same people are coming and watching her stories but not following her. Sabrina is saying something else. She's saying that consistently her stories are viewed and then all of a sudden there's one story that has a ton of views. So I started digging into this phenomenon because I start a lot of members on the inside of Social Curator were like, these patterns are totally weird. So members of Social Curator care about marketing their business on social media. So they're very active. I go in there, I do group coaching, I talk to people, I want to have my ear on the ground. So when I started seeing this pattern of people saying, yo, this is weird, I started digging into it and I come to find out that there's this thing called mass watching, M-A-S-S, -S, mass watching. And it started off in Russia. There was a lot of Russian influencers that had a program that targeted random Instagram stories and sent a ton of bots or accounts to watch those stories. Why? Because this is like, I don't know if you remember, but when Instagram first came out and it started getting big, people were having this follow for follow method. Like people would go and they would like follow your account and leave a comment. And then you were like, oh, look at how sweet Johnny Bobo 816 followed me. Let me go and follow Johnny to return the favor. And then two days later, Johnny would unfollow you. So then all of a sudden you're following Johnny Bobo and Johnny's not following you. That's shady. That's called the follow for follow. Well, there are these new apps that will go and follow random stories, target those stories with the hopes that you go just like Sabrina, who said these have seven, these have 29 and this one had 87. So she's going to go through her 87 people who view the story and what they hope is that Sabrina will follow some of them back to be like nice this is just the Instagram story version of follow for follow and you want to know what I think about follow for follow <sighs> do not do the follow for follow anybody who says you should follow accounts just so they follow you back and then you unfollow them does not run a healthy and successful long-term business that is shady don't do that that's rude that is the equivalent of a dog of somebody walking their dog, pooping in front of your house and not picking it up. Do you like how I brought that around? I brought what is up with me talking about dog poo today? I don't even know. Okay, let's get into some live questions before I finish some of the other questions. Uh, Leonie said, is it too late to join September for the social curator content? No, girl, we just started a momentum booster. 15 days of us showing up with, with done for you solutions on Instagram stories. And we're all supporting each other. Y'all, this is accountability 
expert level. This is accountability, like show up, get your account seen and get people talking back to you. I was going to post all these testimonials of people being like, oh my God, Jasmine, people are talking back to me. Oh my God, I haven't done stories in a while. And now a, a prospective client just reached out to me. Just on my Instagram stories, this girl was like, Jasmine, this is working. She's a real estate agent. She's like, I just booked two bookings as a result of being on stories. And I'm like, I know. Friends, I know this works. It's why I preach it. It's why I teach it. It's free. Do the work. And if you're too busy to do the work, use the Instagram story templates that we have inside of Social Curator so you can show up and get business. <laughs> Clap it up. Renee Garcia says, stories better on Instagram or regular Instagram account? Renee, at this point, you just got to test. That's all. I don't think that at this point there are stories that are better or worse than others. The quality of the content you are putting out will determine how many people are seeing your stories. So don't worry about business personal, at least not right now. Just get some really good stories where people are engaging. So shout out to Jen Ryan, who will be in New York City. I am doing a New York City meetup next week with social curators. And I am doing a Nashville, Tennessee meetup with social curators in October. So shout out to those people who have RSVP'd. Um, okay, so let's go into some questions. Okay. Uh, Tyrenda, right now I take weekends off of posting on Instagram. Should I be posting throughout the weekend? Tyrenda, I want to be very clear. I will never force people to do something that is not on their own terms. If you're like, Jasmine, I don't want to be on Instagram over the weekend. You do you. You do you. Now, if you're asking for my right opinion, I believe that mixing and shaking things up is always a little bit good for your business. Why? Because when you show up in unexpected places at unexpected times, you'll likely be tapping in to a new audience. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're posting naturally, just naturally, my audience peaks is most likely on Instagram between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. So I'm really posting my Instagram post during that time. I post six to seven days a week. But if I was Tyrenda and I was always posting around the same time five days a week, the people who are on Instagram at that time will have a higher likelihood of seeing those same posts. Cool. But what if Tyrenda said, Jasmine, I just want to show up five days a week. That's all right. What if you took Friday off and then randomly posted on a Sunday? People who are on Instagram on a Sunday might not be your regular folk Friday afternoons. So if you're saying these are my terms and these are my rules, Tyrenda, you do you. But I would encourage you every so often to kind of mix it up. And, and if you only want to do the five days, only do the five days. You make your terms. But shaking things up on social media is always a good thing. And one thing that I would do if I was Tyrenda, and Tyrenda's like, listen, I like my weekends. I don't want to be up in the DMs immediately right after. That's okay. We provide on the inside of Social Curator, like this type of story. How was your day to day? And then people could just use the slider. That is driving engagement without blowing up your inbox if you want to chill over the weekend. Can I get an amen? We have solutions. Somebody said, Jasmine, you should name this issue. You ain't got excuses on Instagram. And I was like, oh, I totally like that issue. But anyway, um, for those of you guys who don't have any idea what I'm talking about, you can check out what I do and how I do at socialcurator.com forward slash join. Um, what we're going to do right now is get into more questions. If you have questions like legitimately, y'all, I don't come with an agenda. I use your questions to drive where we're going. Please leave your questions here. I love answering questions live. So uh, let's dive into Matilda. This was sourced from Tuesday's post. It has five upvotes. I know you're always saying we should be active on Instagram and leave thoughtful comments, but how do I respond to something that's just like cute, nice pick, or if they just use emojis, how do we respond with something thoughtful? Okay, so what I try to do most often is, especially in the beginning, when people were just leaving like, so fun, love it. I was like, what do I say? But then I put on my big earrings and I thought to myself, if somebody in the subway came up to me and said, cute, I would be like, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If somebody came up and said, uh, fun dog, I would say, he's my best friend, furry CEO. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead and have the type of conversation that I want to have, not the type of conversation that they're currently presenting to me. So when somebody leaves a comment and you're like, I don't know what to say, if somebody, it's very common. If you see emojis, if somebody leaves a comment with just emojis on my Instagram account and I have the time to respond back to it, I'll be like, look at your emoji game on point. Emoji game on fleek. Teach me your emoji ways. All of these comments have more than four words. Instagram ways, the Instagram algorithm ways comments more than four words differently. So I'm going to respond with the four words that I want you in the future to leave a comment with me. Four words. Teach people how they should engage. So a little bit of a timeout to thank our sponsors. No, I'm just kidding. We don't have sponsors. Maybe one day we will. Okay, send my future baby to college on some sponsorships. Thank you, Lord. No, but for real, we don't have sponsors. Um, well, sponsors, Kale. Okay, Lynn Padillo likes the fact that I call my dog my furry CEO. That's just the truth. That's real talk. Um, okay, Alicia is digging the hat and the earrings. I would just like to say some of the guys who watch the, the Facebook Lives or just watch it on YouTube, they're like, Jasmine, you need to change your hat. Um, let's be clear. I wear hats that match my outfit. I don't even know the record of the Chicago Cubs, but their logo, I like their branding. It's just cute. These earrings are from free people. Give it up for free people. So it's like a little bit of just like casual. It's a casual day to day. So like, I just didn't want to wash my hair. That's just real talk. Are you grossed out? Don't care. Um, okay, let's get into some uh, questions. People are asking. <laughs> Mia says, go Cubs. Michelle says, are you from Chicago? No, baby boo. Born and raised in LA. I do have a Dodgers hat, but it's white. And I didn't want to wear a white hat and a white shirt because it doesn't look good on camera. That's just real talk. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's get into what is wrong with me today? All of these random tangents that I'm going on. Okay, Stephanie said, what's the best app to create amazing stories? Instagram. Instagram creates great stories. Like, here's the thing. If you're having a hard time being consistent, I'm not gonna tell you, look at my furry CEO in the background. Look at him, little punk. He's the best. If you're not consistent on Instagram right now, don't worry about getting an app because it's just more work for you to do. All I'm saying, right before I came on this live, I pulled out Instagram and I said, hey, I'm going live on Facebook. Like, legitimately, consistency, over perfection. Now, if if you are like really into curating your stories, I know that there's a lot of apps that do it, but I don't use any of them because I just think that's just more work for me to do to make it look pretty and it disappears in 24 hours. I'd not be caring, not be caring. If, but let's crowdsource. Like I don't want like no tea, no shade. If you wanna use that, awesome. I just don't know of any good ones, but please, if you have an Instagram editing app or makes it look cool and fun and fancy and curated awesome, please leave them here. Like leave it here in a comment so that other people can see and source. I'm here for the people. Um, okay, Alexa said, I read new bonuses for annual members. I'm an annual member. When do we have access to the new bonuses? Alexis, if you are a current annual member, any new bonuses that we add for annual members automatically get added to your account. A round of applause for that. They will be in your members area. There you go. Um, Michelle Graves said, do you do videos or pictures on stories? I do both. That's 100. I wanna make sure that I am doing the thing that I have been practicing and what I'm preaching. I wanna speak to my dream customer. So if I'm speaking to my dream customer, some people wanna watch videos, some people can't stand it. Do you know, oh, so I study my analytics on Instagram. Like I look and see how many people are watching and when people swipe away. Do you know that I, the stories that get swiped away the fastest are when I am talking directly to camera. I don't know what that means. Oh, I know what it means. I just don't want to hear it. Like people don't want to see my face and people don't want to hear my voice. And that's cool. I, that's cool. But it's not going to stop me from still occasionally showing up. But you will notice I have a tendency to use a lot more photos with text on top because I have noticed. Now, here's the thing. This might not be for your audience. Your audience could be so different. But my audience, because I study my audience, they the highest rate of people staying through is text on top of photo. Highest for me. So you'll see that I have a bent towards photos with text, 
but that doesn't mean that it's for you. So what, do, what, do you, what is your takeaway? Study your audience and see how long you're keeping them and study when you see the biggest swipe away. So there's that. Thanks. Thanks for that great question. Um, okay. Um, Alicia, okay, so can you plan your post for Instagram? Ooh, yes, Alicia. JD, are you ready to type something in? Okay, Alicia, I want you to go to socialcurator.com forward slash watch now. W-A-T-C-H-N-O-W. Socialcurator.com forward slash watch now. If you're asking if I plan my post, the answer is yes. Please be sure to sign up for future classes because I walk people through how to plan your post, how to plan a month of posts in one day. So 30 posts in one day. That's the class that I will walk you through and how to do that. Um, Michelle says, do you use geotags and hashtags on Insta stories? If they are applicable, heck yes, 100%. I want to use hashtags and geotags. Oh my gosh, another, another link. JD, are you ready? Can you add this link? jasminestar.com forward slash IG story checklist. Jasmine, I had the most epic brain fart. jasminestar.com forward slash IG story checklist. There you're going to get a video walking you through when I hashtag, when I geotag, and how I do it. Okay, so yes, great. Thank you, JD. JD's in there like, dude, real MVP. For people who are asking how I'm able to switch between my slides, just like how I did right now, I am using Wirecast, but he's in there answering those questions. So there you go. I actually get asked that every single week. Okay, so a shout out to people who are here. No, JD, that's J, uh, it's IG story checklist. I know, we have the wrong link up in there. I take back the MVP title. I will make sure and we add that. I am such a jerk. I'm gonna fire myself. Y'all, I show up for about 25 minutes every single week to answer your questions. We go through, if you want to ask a question and have it answered by yours truly, live every Tuesday, I put out a call for questions and then the community upvotes the questions. I literally only answer questions that people co-sign on. So leave your question, have it upvoted, tell your mamas and your friends to upvote that question and I will answer it for you. Every Tuesday and every Friday, I go live on Instagram and I bring people on too. I'm literally doing this as a place of service to pay back everything that God, my peers, and this industry has given me. I hope y'all have a great and fabulous day. If you aren't following me on Instagram, follow me there jasminestar.com if you're not following me on tiktok official jasmine star and official jasmine star on youtube so shout out y'all i hope you guys have a good one bye friends